Canada is an insane mess. You have the worst economy in the OECD from 2020 to 2030. Can you imagine the worst economy in all developed countries around the world is not some post-communist shithole, it is Canada. The country where a lot of people go to for peace, for opportunities. Americans were making jokes that they were gonna move to Canada if Trump won the election. And now you're seeing one of the worst countries objectively to live if you are a wealthy person. Other factors such as immigration, 500,000 new immigrants are moving to Canada every single year while the native fertility rate is 1.33 births per woman and going down, meaning that native Canadians are not having children because of the cost of living, because of taxes, because of many other reasons. And the population is growing and is planned to grow to 100 million people, currently of 40 million. They want it to be by 2100, 100 million people. Where are those people coming from? They're coming from India, from Africa, as always. And you're even seeing videos of Indians on the street taking a shit on the street. People take a video of them and they don't seem to care. And they also have campaigns of Indians not to poop on the beach in Canada. They have to close beaches because there was so much E. coli because people were pooping on the beach. What kind of lifestyle is this while you pay one of the highest taxes in the world? They hiked up your capital gains. They hiked up your carbon tax. They hiked up real estate taxes. They just want to keep on adding more and more taxes. And yes, you have the movement from Pierre Polyever. He is pushing. I love his videos. I love his movement. But we still have a couple more years of the current regime, which is really a World Economic Forum regime. It's not really a Canadian regime pushing Canada into the worst possible position in the world. It's getting so bad that Canadians are actually moving to the US now. Emigration from Canada to the United States hits a 10 year high it's tens of thousands head south. And these people are the people with opportunities. Doctors, lawyers, engineers that are going to the United States to get better paying jobs. To in some cases even pay less taxes. A lot of Canadians are going to Florida to pay less tax. So if you're a Canadian and you're wealthy and for some reason you're in Canada because we've helped many Canadians move abroad, know that there are options for example we recently set up a canadian client in barbados the setup in barbados takes less than a month barbados and canada have a tax treaty and you can become a tax non-resident of canada in as little as a couple of months because it is a process you can't just leave canada and pretend you don't have anything there if you have property you have banks they tend to be very aggressive when chasing you for taxes once you leave the country so you have to make sure that the ties to the new country are strong but it is possible to do it and it's possible to do it even in the next year, for example. For 2024, it might be a little bit late, but for 2025, you want to escape Canada, it's possible. A lot of Canadians are getting second citizenship, which I highly recommend if you have French descent, although French nationality by descent is a bit tricky, but any descent that you have, British, although the UK is also heading downhill, but you want to get a second option. Like what happened with the trucker protests, some people are getting their passports canceled, people couldn't renew their passports, your bank accounts are getting frozen. You don't know what the government is going to do next. If they find some social media posts of you critiquing the government, just like this one, are they going to not allow you to renew your passport or renew your driving license? Anything stupid like that, that these authoritarian governments start doing, in the beginning, you want to plan ahead for that. So you want to get a second passport. You want to get residency somewhere else. A lot of Canadians have residency in Mexico. They live in Mexico. They have businesses in Mexico. They have real estate in Mexico. I have a client who has multiple properties all over Mexico. He has them all under a trust, a Cook Islands trust. He also has a Mexican trust. Overall, he has a very complex, beautiful structure to protect all his assets. In the case that Canada decides to sue him for any reason or any problems that he has, in the future and obviously you have some tax free setups like dubai for capital gains barbados is also tax free for capital gains you have some lump sum taxes tax exemptions for example in spain a lot of canadians are moving to spain they're enjoying the weather they're enjoying the better lifestyle the calmer lifestyle the better cost of living overall canada is not worth it anymore what are you paying whether 50 percent in tax to live in a cold immigrant filled dangerous place carjackings are higher than ever 
in Canada. You can get your car stolen from you in the middle of the night. Somebody points a gun at you. They want your car. Is that really how you want to live? Plus all the other political issues that you're facing in your country. It's just not worth it. Living in Canada isn't worth it anymore. And just to hit the nail on the head finally here with a community member of ours. If you want to join the community, it's in the description. He is Canadian and he's leaving Canada this year. He has some thoughts on living in Canada. He says the justice system is a big joke. They have photo radar everywhere to squeeze more tax out of you. They put them in construction zones where nobody really works because the fines are doubled. So they're trying to get as much money from you as possible and then he continues lots of places you go people have such a bad attitude you're lucky to be served i recently returned an item that i purchased at home depot and then the apartment manager started threatening me that i would not be able to buy this item again if it did not work this time you're overall seeing a degradation in that canadian niceness that canadian attitude that we all loved because i was in canada 10 years ago i absolutely loved it people were amazing they were nice but now after nine years of trudeau you are seeing that degradation of society. You're seeing that hate, that division, that resentment against the country, against other people. And then to finish it off, he goes, as soon as you start making money, you will very quickly realize that you work for nothing and that most people around you barely work. I pay 59.2% tax on my business income, corporate versus personal. And with this money left, I pay 14.9, 15% in sales tax. Of course, this is excluding all the other taxes and credits you lose because you make too much money. And this is the attitude in Canada. You're rich, you're a millionaire. Even if you have $1 million, you're evil because you have more money than me. Therefore, you need to pay more taxes. You need to contribute more money. And the solution is to leave, leave the country. Choose another country that doesn't want to tax you at 60%, that doesn't have a bad attitude, that doesn't have bad crime statistics that isn't trying to import the third world into your country, there are better options. If you want to know the best options for Canadians around the world, I made a video right here on the best countries that my Canadian clients and overall wealthy clients are choosing all over the world. Check them out right here.